Horsing Around makes history this week as the self-proclaimed, critically acclaimed segment heads to North Carolina for the first time ever. But the history made is nothing compared to what the Murphy girls basketball team did last season. 30-0. The only game they had left was the state title game. You all know what ruined that. But it isn't ruining junior Torin Rogers shine. She's got a boatload of Division One offers and the sky is the limit when it comes to her future. Your house, your rules, you get the first shot. Okay, I'm starting with a free throw. No. Ooh. You're up. I'll also start with a free throw. <laughs> you guys are on a 35 game win streak. Do you guys we think are. about that at all? I mean, we take it one game at a time, so we really don't think about that going into the game, but afterwards it's nice to, you know, keep that streak going. This is what we're talking about, two for 18. This is, these shots gotta be better. <laughs> and they're not. Two for 19. Do you feel that that's the case where you feel like your game is rising to that occasion as you continue to get more college offers? So I do, I think that this season, I've improved a lot since last. Uh, with the off time during COVID, I've used a lot of that to work on my shot, ball handling, things like that. So I do feel like my game has improved from last season to this season. She's in a groove now. We're in some trouble. Yep. How are you personally dealing with this added attention from colleges? Is it, it added pressure or how are you specifically, you know, just dealing with all that added attention? I feel like I've tried to separate it from my game. So I'm not really focusing on that when I'm playing, uh, when I'm on the court, you know, just doing my best to make sure we win. And with the college attention, it's been a little stressful due to the dev period, you know, not being able to get on any campuses or meet people in person. So. That's been different. It's been kind of tricky to navigate through that, uh, all virtual. But I feel like, you know, you got to make the best of it. So it's working out great, and I'm very thankful to have all the opportunities that I do. Not even going to think about it. Not even going to think about it, Chris. Not even going to think about it. Ooh. This is one of the very few times I get frustrated. <laughs> I have no... I'm not good enough to be frustrated, but I'm frustrated now. Yeah. Your volleyball season got, mm -hmm. got pushed back. You guys oh. were playing the playoffs during basketball season. And, there, and Coach said we there did. was about three of you that were playing volleyball <laughs> and basketball. Right. What was that like? It was crazy, if we're being honest. Um, I've never played two sports, you know, full swing uh, sports at the same time before. Uh, but this year, that's what we had to do. So I think my teammates and I that played both, we did a really good job managing both sports. Um, I think it was a challenge on our time management. We kind of had to step up there. All right, we're going to go this back corner. Oh, love that. Love that, Chris. Oh, that's good. Oh, boy. I don't Ooh. love it that much. Every game matters type of Ooh. mentality. How motivated is this year's team? to cap it with a true state championship. Yeah, so with the every game, you know, matters mo uh, mentality. Last season, that was always our mentality. It's always been our mentality here. But this season especially, because you get 14 games and that's it. So you have to win them to guarantee a spot in the playoffs. So I think that that's really kind of, we, we all realize that and we know what we have to do to make sure we make it there. There it is. My fate has been sealed. Bank. Oh. Close. So. Mm. Hey. Good game. Great game. Great Best game. of luck the rest of the season.